Okay, let's look at my new plein air setup. I uh, kind of have a reputation for painting ultralight and usually in my lap, um, just with my kit that I would carry around in this uh, bag. But uh, my posture is not appreciating it, so I need to start painting standing up again. So I invested in this setup. Uh, it took me a while to find the right parts and pieces, but hopefully it helps um, uh, you if you're, if you're looking to do more plein air. First thing, tripod. This is a small rig carbon fiber uh, tripod. It's not a $600 uh, carbon fiber tripod. Um, it's the first one that I've owned, but it's, it's really nice. I like it for a couple of reasons. One, um, it's light. It's got a ball hinge, so that's always uh, necessary uh, for painting. Um, but the nice thing is it collapses really narrowly, like a, the circumference is really narrow. A lot of tripods will have like a center bar that you have to like reverse fold up the legs and they end up being like six inches in diameter and really chunky and hard to carry. This will fit like in a water uh, uh, a water pouch or something on the side of a backpack. You can slide it in there and then bungee the top. So it's really nice for that. Um, so, I mean, you can see all the old tripods that I've had, like looking for the best kind. Um, I also like these because the, the, um, the clamps are better than knobs or twisties. Twisties, like one, they're slow, which is irritating. Um, and then the second reason is like sand, if you paint on the beach um, or rivers or stuff like that, dust gets in there and then they like kind of grind the little twisty things and they always fail, so they suck. I, I would avoid them. So that's the small rig. Um, tripod. This is an Edge Pro paintbook. This is the small one. Uh, I also have the big one, so you can kind of see the size difference. Um, it's probably, I don't know, uh, 7 by 11, something like that. So it's they're made of wood, and then, um, I think, yeah, uh, and then they open with these machine hinges here, and um, they are really great. So this is a glass pellet with magnets, and there's like a little cavity you can store things underneath. Um, these are magnetic rails, so you can actually extend um, them on either side and hold a pretty big canvas um, or surface, whatever. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I'm painting mostly water media, so I don't use this as much, but I can. So with something like this, um, this is just a old watercolor tin. Gross. Um, Old watercolor tin and just filled with oil paint and because it's metal it just snaps onto that and will hold them in place so I can go to town and do that but for the most part I'm using uh, this for study like plein air study mostly in gouache so I've been I have moved back to my um, sketchbook you know I for my plein air 100 project and you know, more finished small pieces. I was using these um, Strathmore mixed media pads, the six by eight, um, which are still great. I mean, I still like them, but the sketchbook just prevents you from over committing to like, oh, this has to be a thing. I'm going to sell this thing and whatever. Edge Pro, when you buy one of these and they sell them separately, you, you get these like metal panels that you can attach with a, uh, like command strips. So put those on the back, um, then they can kind of snap in place and hold itself there. And then I can use something like this rubber band to, it's a little awkward here. Come on, there we go. Something like that to hold the open pages down. And then, a, you know, simple little clamp to um, secure it, right? So now you got a sketchbook, um, it's pretty secure. You can tilt it. You could paint sitting down, you could paint standing up. Um, it's a lot more flexible that way. Um, this is nice too, because I don't like the um, like easels where it's like a, a fixed um, angle, because sometimes you actually want to paint at an inverted angle. If you're in the sun, you actually want this shaded. So you can actually paint sort of with a collapse near you, just better in my opinion. So that's that. Um, next, I've got a trifold watercolor easel. This is a metal um, three, I don't know, whatever panel uh, watercolor easel. I This was had all the trays in here, um, so I ripped all those out because I don't like trays and I need the space. Um, and then 
you'll notice like when you unfold these, uh, one side is more or less flush with the, the bottom. This one is about a quarter of an inch, half inch um, away from the surface. So a uh, quarter inch piece of wood, countersunk magnets, snaps up to the bottom and then levels it all out. So it kind of lays flat because this is all metal, kind of snaps right into the Edge Pro, like all the magnets built in. So it kind of stays without having to like clamp it and do all this nonsense um, paint box. So I've com totally committed to one of these. If you're using any kind of water media outside, I would highly recommend this. This means I don't have to carry paint anymore. So this used to be, this expands and it used to be like this thick and I'd have to carry all my paint to like load up a palette fresh. As long as you keep this kind of full and moist, um, it uh, is all you need. So I, uh, there's a thumb ring here. So you could like hold it with your hand. Um, took that out and then glued a pretty powerful magnet here so it can snap in there. And then I love clamps, uh, collapsible camp cups, right? Uh, because uh, when you use them at an angle, you can like, you know, attach it right here, but it could sit straight up so you can adjust it um, in different ways. Glued a similar magnet and then I can just snap it wherever and let it hang off. Um, wherever I need, right? Um, you can collapse it down if you don't need, I don't use much water, so um, kind of fits anywhere. So, uh, oh, if you, uh, if you need a glue, use Gorilla Glue. It will adhere uh, metal to rubber or metal to plastic or plastic to plastic, whatever. Um, it, it usually works most of the time. So that's kind of the, uh, the setup, right? Um, and it's pretty portable, it's pretty secure, Right? Like it's not totally windproof. Um, the magnets aren't that strong, but strong enough to where it give you a second to catch it if the wind is uh, picking up. Then I just carry this. I've got a couple of paints in here, like primaries that I might run out of, mostly white, and then full length brushes, and then um, sort of the cutoff brushes that I would use in here. Um, so I still use this for everything else, like my water and everything. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty lean, narrow setup. Um, that I like. Again, it's not really for water media, paint books especially, but with this kind of setup, um, I think it uh, works really well. I mean, if they made like a trifold water media insert, like they'd make a killing, I think. Um, but uh, for now, I think this works pretty well. So hope that helps if you're looking to do more plein air or if you're just a gear junkie like me. Um, yeah, let me know if you have questions. Thanks.